All right, we're back. We've got another one. Today, I really wanted to do something different. We built some things out of block number two, but this one we've been wanting to do for a while. And we're going to see if we can get it knocked out. It's an alligator. Uh, we've got all these little turtles and things all over our shop. Something's got to eat them. <laughs> so we're going to take block number two. If you haven't seen it, you're going to want to watch that video. But basically, it's just a piece. We're four inches long. On this one that we're going to do, this is three quarter by three quarter, and we've cut in inch and a quarter and inch and a quarter. This is what we have. Okay, so that's the block we're going to start with. It's the same size we used to make the lizard. Okay, so we're going to take pretty much it's the same. We're going to take this lizard, but we're going to turn this into an alligator. So we're going to start on the block, just like we did the lizard, if you haven't seen that video. There's some things we're going to do that we'll, I'll show you in the clay uh, that we've been working out, which is to get the belly of this alligator. I think it's important. Alligators have that big belly. When they're laying on the shore, their belly's all out. So if we look at our key details, like we've done in some of the others, the head, the head of an alligator is important. If you get the alligator's head wrong, uh, it won't be an alligator. It'll look like a crocodile or something else. This is a real alligator's head from Louisiana. Um, I think they're a cool animal. Like if I had a pet, I'd have a pet alligator. <laughs> if I could, maybe I'd get one for the shop. Maybe when the kids are a little older. But that's their head shape. You got to get it correct. The length, you got to get a little bit close. You know, somewhat, a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's an alligator, not, oh, it's a crocodile. But you can already tell this one I got up here that I just drew. This nose is weird and wrong. They don't have a huge nostril. They look different as they get older. This is a really young farm crocodile. Alligator, see? But you can see the nose is, doesn't have big, tall nostrils. So we'll focus on this shape for the head. And the real thing we're going to focus on is this. This pattern that everybody's similar, familiar with is where these eyes stick up. Big flat nose where his eyes stick up. So that's the head. And we talked a little bit already about the body. But we've got to get the body right. We've got to get the shape of his body and his legs sticking out flat. You know, it's, it's an aquatic animal. Reptile. So he's got... A certain shape to his body he's made for the water so as you move down his head his body we get to his legs his legs are like the lizard the proper places he's got elbows he's got four toes so you got to get that shape right uh, let's see head body legs tail you got to get the tail right um, that's what they push with it's like the, it's their fin it's their tail but it has a shape to it which is kind of cool we found this drawing Turn your Google on and find you some pictures. But this is perfect because if you look at the way this person's showing how to draw an alligator, look at that square neck, square shoulders, flattened out body, and the tail is a square taper. So we're going to use that a lot as we play with the clay and we try and build this alligator. Another cool thing that alligators have on them. Their protective little armor. I don't even know how to say it, but scoots, scutes, whatever they are, they're cute. It's good. I don't know. It's all these little bumps. They got these little spikes. Prehistoric killer animal. They gotta look cool. <laughs> they got that, but they got these scoots all over their back. They're in lines. And then on their tail, they have the tall ones that go right down the side. We're going to try and emphasize those and pinch those out as we get to it. So we know they got that square tapered tail. It's a rectangular, kind of a flat body that we're looking for. We'll, we'll put those scoots in it, scoots, and we'll get the head shape right. You know, the head shape is that round, not a big nostril, one like I already drew, but it's round, just like that one. So, we got the measurements, 
We got the key details. The last one is pose. We want, I really like this pose right here that's in this one. So I want to keep that image in my mind. I want his belly, his butt, and his tail flat. And once we get up to here, I really like how his front shoulders are pushed down a little bit and he's got his neck and his head up. So keep that, your pose in mind when you're building these and when you're building anything, so that last image is your shape you're going for. I want the tail to have that curl in it where it comes down to one side. So I got to make it long enough, but I want it all flat. I want that front body and his head up just that little bit. So I think we got you all the information. We're going to go to the anvil. We're going to hit the clay a little bit. Do a little bit of explaining on the block and the clay. We're going to take this lizard that we've made because I'm going to show you a little bit on this belly how we can widen it out. This one's a block, but we're going to widen his belly out. We're going to push his legs pretty extreme so that they're not really coming out the bottom, but they'll be coming out on the top. But we still want to be able to get to those body shapes so we can pinch out the streets. So, I think we got it. Let's hit the anvil and let's go. Let's... All right, guys, we're at the anvil. We're hitting the clay. I've hit the clay a few times. I got the clay to the size of this block. Okay, I've got it cut, the measurements. I got the legs split from the top. I've also split down the belly. Okay, just like on the, if you look at the lizard, you'll see it's got a big square belly. We're gonna use this material. So I've split down the belly and I'm gonna take, we're gonna fold her in this and start working it out. Just get on this side so you can see. So we're gonna start fullering that. That's that one. That's that one. We're going bigger and bigger. Not going quite down into the body, but just starting to really spread that so that we can use it. You see how it's spreading out? We got this whole line down here, but we're pushing this, pushing this body out. We're pushing these legs up. We're gonna fuller that, fuller. We're gonna keep it round so it'll stretch. So keep going, keep going, keep going. We're actually gonna get that to where we can get like a ball peen and stuff in here. We're really gonna work this belly so that it's out and so his legs are out okay that's going to give us that type of an appearance which is what we want you can see how his belly's remember you're really going to have to turn your imagination on but you see how we got this belly and we know we're going to be doing those scutes <laughs> scoots whatever it is we're going to be doing those. We're going to stretch these legs out. We've got to take one of these sections and build a head. We're going to take one and build the, build his body. But one of the first things I want to try and do is to get this body so he's got that belly that I want him to have. Now we've got these legs rolled out. Remember, if you can build out of clay, you can build out of iron. So play with this, get it to where you think it's gonna be right. We're gonna be stretching these legs. You're gonna to have to fuller those legs. You're gonna be putting that bend in them so that they go the right direction. All right? I'm gonna to have to look at my pictures. We're going to take these legs, play with this thing out of clay. You guys build it out of clay several times. We'll put the toes. We know we got to get into here because we got to fuller his neck a little bit. A lot of time. And we've got to stretch his nose out and get, get it to the shape to where we can come in and we're going to be able to use these things, you know, use these fullers and come in and knock his eyes up. 
use the tools that you're going to use as you build it. We know we're going to push his posture up, his head up, give him some life. We got four toes, so we're going to section off his feet. We know we're going to do that. Um, got some sirens in the background. I live in the ghetto. Just kidding. I live in the ghetto. <laughs> Close enough. Okay, but we know we can fold her in here and get that belly kind of exaggerated. We know we can get the tail. That head's not quite out flat enough. You know, but we're going to try and get, so we got this belly, we can do a lot with this. I'm hoping I can hold on to this back in the vise. We'll take this tail, and remember from looking at the pictures, that it's a taper, but it is a square taper, which is great. It's going to work good for what we're doing. So get his tail out. Using clay and I tap on the anvil out of habit. I go to turn it. Okay. And then to get these scutes in there, we know we're going to come over and I'm going to try and use my fly press and I'm going to pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch and pinch all the way down the side, all the way down the other side. Then I'm going to have to come in with a little bit of a punch or something at an angle. Already I know and see if I can get these inside ones. And come in. So we're going to see if we can build us a very ugly little alligator. <laughs> but play with it. Play with it out of clay. Play with your dimensions. Play with your lengths. As you cut your block, if you know you don't need very heavy material for your legs and you want this big tail, then cut this off to one side. Cut it down so you get more material on the top or use a bigger block. And then when you go to cut these legs and all your stuff, you'll have the right proportions to build your alligator. So we're going to take this one, turn it into an alligator, and we'll see how it works. For now, we're going to take First thing we got is to cut the block. I'm going to cut these, cut a line down the middle, and I'm going to cut it into the belly line enough that I know I can push these legs and push that belly up because he just ate something out of the swamp. So let's make some cuts, start the forge, let's build an alligator. Okay, first thing we're going to do is clamp them in and start opening it up. Made the cut. Put those out. Get down in there, spread these out. I'm going to try to open up the cut I made all the way down to the bottom. Get in there with my tight fuller, eighth inch. Okay. We're gonna keep going in here, but I'm gonna grab another heat. Go oh, back to the vise. Cinch him up. Coming in with that fuller again. This way too. Okay, we're gonna try and get him just a little bit more spread open. Okay. 
got a couple of tools I can use here. Get him fullered a little bit more and quicker. Okay, we got his belly widened out a little. We're gonna keep going. Okay, we're just going to try and fuller right behind where we picked the front. We want it to be a little skinnier. That's all, it's just kind of a front pinch the front a little bit. Now we'll keep making this and we'll make this wider for the belly. This can be the front, this can be the back. Trying to swell that belly line. Okay, so I've moved the feet out of the way because I'm going to try and pinch from his head right down his back. Until I get to his tail. And I'm going to drop the whole tail on there. And start. Let me wire brush it. Start working that all the way down. I'm gonna work it across here a couple of times. When I get to the tail, I'm gonna start squaring it up. Gonna make sure I got the bottom on. Top, bottom on. 
자. 자. I can line this okay. and see this one. Feel that one. Feel that one. Cutes. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to create uh, lines for those scutes. <laughs> We're working this back line. It's kind of tricky, but we want this deep line right here. We want to follow it all the way to this. These scutes. Both sides. So we're going to come back. I'm going to try and get that material. I'm going to scoop that material. <laughs> I come up. Now I know from building the skulls and stuff, I can take a ball punch while this is still kind of cold. It's still hot, but it's Not gonna help get this line exaggerated. You can come in and 
get it dialed in with that smaller one and come behind it with a bigger one. Clean it up. Okay, we're gonna put some more heat in it. Okay, so we're still working on his back, but we're gonna smooth it out a little before we go. So I got a bigger ball punch and I'm just smoothing out my line. You'll see how it just, it's just smoothing it. I'm just, I got somewhere to follow now, so I'm just going to. Just smoothing it out. Because now we're going to pinch, like we did here, we're going to pinch these little sections. One section, down the side, down the middle. We're just going to try and need this back line to be a little deeper. So we're going to pull it in a little more. Because we're going to try and pinch each side of it, so I need a good spot to pinch. Okay, so we got the tail. We're gonna work on the back. It would just, it's gonna take a whole bunch of punching. So we're gonna follow these lines right here. If we can find them. Okay guys, I'm just, I'm fuller in and then I'm chasing it with a punch, so I'm going down my lines, making a fuller mark, chasing it with a round punch. Get these lines to show up. So you can kind of see that it's working, but it's a little tricky. So I'm holding it at an angle. Really. Just trying to work up a couple lines on the top. Okay, so we fullered three lines right down his back. 
it was tricky. <laughs> you can cut it with a hot cut a little bit and follow your hot cut lines, but we got the three lines down the back. We've made two ridges. Now we're going to heat it up. We're going to take a ball punch and just kind of decoratively tap every now and then and make that look like scoots. Okay, so I'm going to try one in the middle, one on the side, one on the other side, one in the middle, side, side, middle, side, side, middle. Okay, so we're going to bump the head to make his nose. I'm going to round it a little bit. Kind of, so we'll know where the, his jaw and that nose, we're going to round it. It's just round. And then we'll come in and try and set in a little bit for his eyeballs. But it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Looking good. Pinch it. Before I'm pinching a little bit, it's kind of tricky. Okay, that's, ooh, it's close. Two little V's on their nose that go this way. Put those on. And I think we'll bring these lines down just a little bit. Put a little more texture behind his head, but not really out on his nose, but just around his eyes. To begin for that, I'm going to use that little ball punch. Just put a little texture on it. Okay. Alright guys, we got it to here. This thing looks pretty cool just like this. You get them out of clay and then you get them into something permanent. We're not done yet, but we got the belly, we got the back, we got the... Oh, I can't get the name right, it saved my life. Scutes, cutes. 
we got the cutes on him, scutes, whatever they are. We came clear up, we got the head, we got the eyeballs. We we did have a little trick with the eyeballs. The, an alligator's eyes are on the top of his head. So you really need to push the material up and it looked better the higher we could get the eyes. They, they still could even go higher and a little closer together, but we got it to here. Now what we need to do is flatten him out and get the legs and the posture, and we got him. Take the alligator. Give him a piece of firewood. Good job, it's got a piece of firewood. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try something different. <laughs> on his feet, his legs and his feet, and we'll get all the legs done in the right position and then we'll pose him how we talked about, how I wanted him, and that's it. Okay, we got all the legs out. I got the rough edges off of them. Now we're gonna make a marks for our bends where the leg's gonna bend and where the foot. So we're gonna take it and heat it up, put it on the anvil, and I'm gonna fuller the back side of where I want the bend to be. And then I will fuller the front side of the foot. And then on these ones, they go back so I'll be sneaking in here and putting a fuller mark there and a fuller mark for the foot. So I'm going to sneak in here about the middle. Okay. The other side, get it up there about the middle. Okay, so the foot, we're going to have to sneak in here, right there. Okay, so what these are is more or less references on where I'm going to make my bends. Now I'm going to squish my feet. Okay, so we're going to come in to the mark and flatten his foot just like that flatten his foot okay so we got all four little feet we got our marks but you can see right in here where these legs are out flat but you can see this we're going to heat it up and push this in try and push his the back of his belly right here in just a little bit.
right guys, we got it. It took a lot. That was tricky, 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 but it's fun. Any of the things we had trouble with, we went back to the clay. When we started doing the feet, we went back to the clay. We squished it in the same tool, looked at it and said, yep, that's what I want. When we started doing the cutes, scoots, <laughs> whatever these are on their back, scutes, scutes. I've had trouble with it all day. We got those figured out, but we hit the clay first and then went back to the steel and we got it. We got a cool little alligator. We got all the stuff on his back. We, we got everything we wanted him to look like. If you look at the picture, that's the pose we wanted. That's the, the shape I wanted. We got the belly that we wanted. No, I don't put any teeth on. I still might put some teeth on him, but uh, we got the pose and everything. I'm real happy with it. I like this one better than the other one I built. Uh, it looks good. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of little tool work. A lot of forging, twisting, playing. Well, Yertle is not very fond of it. <laughs> but, guys, we went from clay. Got it out. Same from block two. We did the lizard. We got us an alligator. He is actually is pretty stinking cool. Right? So, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope the information and uh, the entertainment earns your subscription. Oh, it's fun. That one was fun. You guys forged something fun. If you're not, do something else. Like, if you like knives, build knives. If you like these type of things, try these. Try everything. Your skill set's going to improve. You'll be awesome. You'll do awesome. Try an alligator. So, there's our little alligator. Like I said, you're a little. Not real happy I made an alligator, but it's all right. You guys, thank you. Hope you enjoyed that one. Build you an alligator. Build you a turtle. Build you a turkey. Build you a woodpecker. Something. Try them out. Till the next one, guys. Thank you again. Let's go.